Hey y'all, Jackie here again. I wanted to show you this real quick infographic that I created. Um, it shows you the lifespan of your content on social media. And this will tie in to the social cycle. It shows you the importance of video and it shows you the importance of Pinterest. So I think that um, a lot of people will will notice that when you we're talking about Twitter, people tweet three, four, five times a day. There's a lot of tweets that go out in a day, possibly from one person. And that is because Twitter, your content only stays visible and in the feed for about 18 minutes. And then it kind of gets lost in the whole world of Twitter tweets. <laughs> um, it's not, it doesn't hold its ground very long. Um, so if you're not constantly tweeting, chances of your content being seen are pretty slim. Now the next one is gonna be Facebook. Facebook gives you about a five hour variation of when you're going into a feed and you're seeing things. So when you're looking at the top times or the peak times of your audience, usually between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. is a good time. And then usually between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. is another peak time. So you wanna look at those and make sure that when you're posting, you're posting within that five hour variance so that your content stays relevant to the people you want it to see, to the people you want to see it. <laughs> uh, because after about five hours, it, it again, it goes into the hole of scrolling and you might not be able to find it again unless you know exactly what you're looking for, okay? Instagram, theirs is 21 hours, so it's, uh, quite a bit longer and um, LinkedIn's about 24 hours. Now my personal experience with LinkedIn is actually I will log in and there's things from you know two days, three days ago that appear right up in my front feed. So LinkedIn's another one that people kind of forget about uh, that actually can be really resourceful. And um, it's targeted to more of that corporate professional. So if that's your kind of avatar person, you might wanna check out and start posting on LinkedIn to see what kind of traction you get. But 24 hours, that's a pretty, 21 hours and 24 hours, that's a really good um, time window for getting your content viewed by several people. Um, and then with YouTube, it's 20 days. That's an amazing um, lifespan. So that's why I really push video because if you can upload it to YouTube, your, your YouTube channel does not need to be fancy. If you have a name and your business and a link to something, you're golden. That's really all you need. People um, that are searching stuff, it's going to pop up because YouTube is tied in with Google. It's also gonna be tied in with Pinterest, which is the next one. Four to six months think about that. Your content is there and available to somebody and it's relevant for four to six months. I have pins that I pinned that I forgot I pinned and then all of a sudden I get a bunch of hits on them. So it's really an important resource and understanding that especially when you're launching a program or if you're creating a, an ongoing challenge or maybe you're getting a program together that's gonna to become evergreen, Pinterest is a really fantastic place to put it because it's gonna continuously get evolved. It's gonna continuously get seen and repinned, which is gonna help the life of your program getting bought directly from you. So this is just a snapshot for you to kind of take in and see where you want your content to be going. Um, and about how long it's going to be relevant on that platform before you're gonna need to post again. Um, so rule of thumb, um, two to three times daily on Facebook, once daily on Instagram, LinkedIn, and then once a week or so um, on YouTube, and then several times in a day on, on Pinterest. Um, but Pinterest is a whole separate kind of entity that we can talk about. But this is for you to look at and take with you uh, for your planning.